Flow Code, Lesson 7, Transient Hyperfrontality. Hi, and welcome back. This is Max Flow, and we're going to explain in detail the most important aspect of hacking into the state of flow. Advances in neurobiology have clarified our understanding of what is happening in our brains and bodies when we experience a range of mental states. This sharpened perspective allows us to understand in simple and rational terms the mechanics of transcendence. The vast scientific research clearly shows that mental states, commonly referred to as altered states of consciousness, are triggered by the temporary downregulation of the prefrontal cortex. Deactivate to activate the optimal state. When we enter the flow state, we experience what is called a transient hypofrontality. Transient meaning temporary. Hypo is the opposite of hyper, meaning to slow down or to deactivate, while frontality ascribes to the prefrontal cortex. Areas in the prefrontal cortex that we seek to downregulate in order to achieve flow are the seats of higher cognitive processing where we distinguish the difference between self and other, our sense of time, our integral dialogue. Transient hypofrontality occurs when neural activation in the prefrontal cortex needed to calculate higher brain functions is sufficiently reduced. So you have no ability to extract yourself from the here and now. This is why when we are in flow, time seems to slow down. We merge with the consciousness. We become one with what we are doing. It is the same experience that Tibetan monks, trained meditators, or top performers feel. The experience all of us felt on many instances in our lives when everything ran smoothly and effortlessly. Therefore, transient hypofrontality is the base for all altered states of consciousness and a doorway to the highest quality of mental experience, a doorway to the state of flow. These findings postulate that we need to deactivate to fully activate and experience the state of flow. There is vast supportive evidence from psychological and neuroscientific studies of dreaming, endurance running, meditation, daydreaming, hypnosis, and various drug-induced states the research concludes that transient hypofrontality is a unifying feature of all altered states, and the uniqueness of each state is the result of the different engagement of various frontal brain circuits. This is also the reason that flow experience is, like everything else, a subject to fluctuation and change. Quick comparison between normal and flow state. Normal state. In today's reality, our brains are clogged with an overflow of information. With over 70,000 thoughts per day, this state brings mostly tons of repetitive and unproductive daydreaming with an unusually rampant inner critic. Analyzing and questioning our behavior takes most of our mental bandwidth. Rehearsed performance is hindered and we are prone to slow reactions. The experience of life is generally fearful because our mind is either burdened with the past or anticipates future calamities. Your brain operates mostly in the spectrum of beta waves. We operate in the default mode network. We are on unconscious repeat, questioning and doubting ourselves or being stuck in a fixated thinking. Flow state. The brain is freed from mental clutter, thus giving us more mental bandwidth with which we can assign to the experience of flow. In flow, we are gaining quicker reactions, improved creativity and productivity. In flow, we are fearless in the present moment where everything flows seamlessly and in harmony. Brain operates mostly in the spectrum of alpha theta waves. We operate in the task-oriented network. New ideas and flawless performance emerges. The hallmark of flow code interventions is about the modification of these behavioral and cognitive functions of the prefrontal cortex. The goal of flow code interventions is to trigger the state of flow by gaining ability to effectively downregulate the activity of the prefrontal cortex when needed and on demand. 
Without this ability, there is just no sufficient mental space in which you could possibly experience flow. A sufficiently down-regulated prefrontal cortex is therefore a primary condition for flow that needs to be met.